All right, and we are back. Looks like we're going to have T. Gensilador versus uh, Joja Ma, a Terran versus Protoss on MLG Zelnaga Caverns. Nothing I love more than uh, TVP. <laughs> yeah, <you're done. laughs> All right, looks like the match is about to start. Zelnaga Caverns, the only uh, two base map in that current just... play. Other than... No, that was was that a two base map? Can yeah. you only spawn in those two? This, this is the only two base map on the ladder. No, this is the only two base map on the ladder. <laughs> the ladder doesn't count for anything here. Yeah, but Daybreak and Dual Set are two. Ah, uh, okay. Well, not the only uh, two base map, but a two base map. Very small two base map. Yes. Yeah, sure. All right, let me know if that's better. Uh, just raise the mic volume on request. So, uh, we're going to see Jojo Ma spawning in the south of the map, and J I'm going to call him Gensilador. So, Gensilador spawning in the north of the map. He's called T Gen. Yeah, T Gen. Let's go with T Gen. I like T Gen. All right. And it's going to be just pretty standard here from the beginning. Now, this map has a lot of options for rushing, two racks, two gates. All sorts of shenanigans can happen on this map. So, you know, we're going to see what this comes down to. We do see the first rally point going out to scout. So possibly a, a two. Oh, no, he's going no, to send no, to build the supply depot. depot. Getting too excited. Adam. Hey, man, I'm, I'm excited for the two racks. I want the cheese. the Nexus, you know, I do like the building place in a Protoss close to the Nexus. I feel like if you make, uh, you know, gateways and cyber cores, like, further out from the Nexus against Terran, it's just too easy to pick them off later with drops. Yeah, it's all about getting that massive building, so it's just hard to push through. First gateway going down, while well, the first barracks goes down. So pretty standard play from both of our players, nothing too exceptionally weird just yet. Yeah. Uh, we do have the SCV going out for T-Gen to go scout. Of course, they do already know where each other are. Um, Jojo Ma thrown down his refinery, and uh, T Gen thrown, or Jojo Ma thrown down the assimilator. T Gen at the refinery. <laughs> Pretty standard timings here. <laughs> yeah, we got basic gas openings for both of our players, so probably still not any really early pressure. Um, interesting second pylon placement. Uh, a lot of the time, Protoss players will place their second pylon more up here to get better vision of their base and use the third one to not Artosis pylon, but you can really do it either way if you're fairly confident you're not being cheesed, as he seems to be. And we do see the Cybernetics Core and Orbital Command building at the same time. Yep, yeah, this is uh, just about as standard openers as we could have right now. And here's where we'll start to see some variation, and Protoss will throw down the second gas, so he is going to go for some kind of techier build. Although, I guess you can just do a 3 gate expand or something off that, too, I guess. That's true. Um, and, uh, Taren is just content to uh, build up some money right now. It looks like he might be heading for a... Uh, well, actually, no, he's building a reactor, so he might be going for the two racks right now. Um, we'll have to see, unless it's a one rack expand with a reactor. Haven't really seen that build before. See the Stalker coming first for Protoss, and that's nice. Um, that's going to reject early scouts and also help him in case of any early pressure. Yep, and there is the command center. So one will actually exp expand with a reactor on the barracks. So this is actually kind of an interesting build here. Um, Perhaps he's going to go for some quick pressure to hold this expansion with a bunch of Marines, or maybe he just wants to get up a bunch of Marines to defend. But either way, it is an interesting build. Jojo Ma pushing out with a uh, Stalker and a Probe. I don't know if he's just guarding the probe so he can take the watchtower, but... <laughs> <laughs> Quite possibly, you never know. And this worker is just scouting around. Still pretty standard openings from both players here. Uh, Jojo Ma threw down the second gateway. He's not thrown down a Nexus yet. But look at the units tab. There's four Marines out on the field already, and there's only more being made. And this Stalker is gonna, gonna take some damage, but he will be able to get away as they are very fast uh, units. Can you check if he saw the uh, command center going up? And he did see the command center go up, so... Yeah, so now he's throwing down the Robo, which actually kind of surprised me. I think that he would just want to expand right now, but... Um, he's probably going to go for the, the two-gate Robo expand, it looks like, with sentry support, so... 
playing it standard, even though he does see the early expand out of Terran, getting a few more army supply, because, you know, with this reactor, Terran could do a pretty big push if, throw, if Protoss threw an expansion down right now, he might not be able to have enough to afford. Yeah, and Terran um, is actually tanking behind his expand right now. His expand center just finished, and he's already building a factory. Um, second Barracks just finished as well, now building a tech lab, most likely to get Stimpacker combat shields. So this is some pretty interesting play out of Terran. He's got a nice handful of marines here, but almost nothing else, and no upgrades for these marines yet, as it's almost six minutes, six and a half minutes into the game, so... Yeah, um, looks like uh, JoJo might be going to throw down the Nexus right now. He does have enough money. And he is sending this probe, and he will be throwing down the Nexus at six and a half minutes. Yeah, so his expansion is quite behind uh, T-Gem. T-Gem is uh, about to land his orbital command right now, I think. And Jojo Ma is slightly ahead in the worker count, but with those mules, it's not really going to matter, is yeah, it? Yeah, especially with the double mules and the uh, double SCV production right now. t going to get a nice economic lead for the beginning of the game. But Jojo Ma is going for Colossus, throwing down the robotics bay very early. Interesting. And, you know, this is kind of like one of the older styles of TVP that you see expanding quickly and rushing to Colossus immediately afterward, getting as large of a Colossus count as you can and trying to, trying to push. So we'll see if that's what he's going to do. Or maybe he's going to go for some kind of a more tricky play where he feigns Colossus, but Colossus would be very effective against this amount of Marines. Yeah, you know, if he's going that Marine heavy and the Colossus actually get out, he might just be able to rip through that Marine composition. And Jojo Ma, moving across the map, don't really like this. Guess he's just doing a little bit of scouting, but he is taking his whole army to the Watchtower. Yeah. And at the same time, it looks like T-Gen is going to scout around a little bit trying to find any army moving in or any workers building proxy pylons around the area. Yeah, it looks like that first tech lab on the barracks was for Stimpak, and we also see the first two medevacs going to pop out pretty soon here, so um, I would not be surprised to see T-Gen go for uh, maybe even a double marine drop right off the bat. Looks like just Jojo Ma is just going to kind of dance around the map here. Um, this team is really unsure. I don't really know why he's doing this. I think he should be back at his home defending because getting caught up in this ball right now is Protoss, you you will be dead, so. Yeah, um, his robotics pay finished, but he's not building any Colossus yet, so that's actually kind of curious right now. It doesn't seem like he really has the gas to do it just yet. He's uh, finally throwing down these two other assimilators. Um, probably should have gotten those down a little bit earlier for the Colossus, focused yeah. on that before saturating the patches, but, you know, his timing won't be too off, so. Yeah, he's going up to uh, four gateways right now, which is... Uh... Kind of an interesting number. Usually, I think like you see five like gate robo. Really big push moving from T Gen across the map. A lot of Marines and Marauders and four Medivacs. This is going to be really tough to stop if he doesn't get a Colossus out soon. Right now, this force will not be able to reflect this. Yeah, um, if he doesn't have the most perfect force fields ever, he is not going to be able to hold this. And there are no Colossus. The first Colossus just started building. The stim, and he does have some nice force fields, but the Marines can still shoot the Zealots behind the force fields. He's just going to move in, stutter micro, and take out these sentries. Going to work in a couple more stalkers on the low ground, but it's not really going to do anything. It looks like T-Gen is, is going to take this game. Yeah, there is that one more force field. Out, but I don't know if it matters anymore. There's no Lance, and with all these medevacs and marauders, these stalkers are just going to crumble. The first Colossus is out, but there is no extended thermal Lance. Uh, no additional production from Jojo Ma as his army is reduced even further. Loading up two of these, these medevacs with units, interesting, yeah, probably going to go for a drop. And a nice little spread drop here that's going to distract the forces, and he's going to get a full surround. And that Colossus is going to is going to go down. That's a bummer for uh, Jojo Ma here. And there is the GG. So, uh, RPI is taking it to uh, one and one right now. And uh, it's going to tie it up before the 2v2 match. All right.